My name is Lisa. I live with my husband Noah and our energetic and always smiling daughter, Madison. We're a family of three. Noah and Madison always play together daily, filling our home with laughter. Watching the two of them, I always feel so happy. Who would win in a race, Daddy or Uncle Oliver? Now that you mention it, I wonder if Oliver is fast. True, we know he's strong and tough, but I don't think I've ever seen him run. I see what about Mommy then? Mommy can dash like a bullet train when it's something important for Madison. But other than that, she might be slower than a tortoise, maybe? I see Mommy is amazing. Hey, Noah, what's that supposed to mean? Like this, we were spending happy and peaceful days together as a family. Then, one night. Wow, my skin is so plump and soft. You look really happy, Lisa. Ever since I started using this lotion, my skin has been in such great condition. Now that you mention it, your skin does look whiter and, what's the word, more translucent. It's definitely become prettier. You were worried about it before, right? Mommy is always pretty, right? Thank you, Madison. Mommy is so happy. I had always been troubled by skin problems. However, since I switched to this new lotion, my skin condition improved, and I've been using it ever since. Having clear skin has brightened my mood, and I've found makeup more enjoyable. A few days later, when my mom friends came over for a visit, we were enjoying our chat over tea, and then… Speaking of which, Lisa, your skin has become so beautiful recently. Are you doing anything special? Actually, I've recently switched to a lotion from Beauty Shoto. Oh, the one that's been all the rage. I've always been concerned about my skin. It's a bit pricey, but I decided to splurge and try it. And it's been so amazing. I can't go back to using any other lotion now. Well, I don't need to use such expensive products to have beautiful skin, you know? Hey now, Phoebe. You don't need to say it like that, right? Ugh, I'm just stating my opinion. Phoebe always speaks in a somewhat sarcastic manner, so there's a bit of distance between her and the other mom friends. However, since our kids get along well, we've continued our relationship. Then, one day. Huh? My lotion. Was it this low before? I haven't used it for a mask or anything. What's going on? Hey Lisa, what's up? Oh, Noah. You haven't been using my lotion, right? I haven't used it, what's going on? Well, the amount of lotion has decreased significantly. Oh, I definitely haven't used it. And Madison can't reach it. Lotion can't just evaporate. That's strange. I found it strange but decided to wait and see what would happen. After a while, I realized that the lotion was decreasing every time I invited my mom friends over. I didn't want to suspect my close friends, but the timing was too coincidental. While pondering over this, one day... actually. Things have been disappearing from my house too. Wait, the same thing is happening at my place. What? At both of your places too? We always meet with the same group for tea. If we think about who in our group would do such a thing. Yeah, it's pretty clear, isn't it? While talking with Alicia and Gloria, the situation started to become clearer. Two weeks later, I invited the usual group to my house, but then… All right. Now's my chance to transfer some lotion into this container. Phoebe? What are you doing? Nothing at all. Then why are you here when you were supposed to be in the restroom? Just admiring your lovely dresser. That in your hand, that's my lotion, isn't it? Oh, this? This is mine. No, it's not. I marked it, so I know it's the one I use. Ha, huh, yes, yes, this is your lotion, but what about it? So it was you. You've been taking my lotion like this, haven't you, Phoebe? So what if I did? Such good lotion wasted on someone like you. A housewife leeching off her husband, it's just a waste, isn't it? Aren't you a housewife too, Phoebe? Shut up. Everyone buying nice things for themselves is just stupid. Mom friends? Such a pointless gathering. Only useful for exploiting like this, right? You don't think what you're doing is pointless? I'm annoyed by women like you who buy nice things and show off. So just hand them all over to me and disappear from my sight, will you? It was confirmed that all the incidents were Phoebe's doing. Then, there. Huh? So that's what you think of us. So, having tea with us is just pointless, huh? Why are you here? 
Weren't you all downstairs just a minute ago? Isn't it obvious? What do you mean by that? The three of us, Lisa, Alicia, and I, planned for this assuming it would happen. You mean, you three set me up? It's not just my lotion. We know you've been stealing from Alicia and Gloria's homes too. Huh. So what? What's that to you? Taking someone's belongings without permission is the lowest of the low, isn't it? So what? It's for my benefit, isn't it? That's not okay at all. What you're doing is stealing. Seeing lowlifes like you guys enjoying fancy things just irks me. That's not a valid reason at all. Me using them is making the items happy, you know? Enough already, would you? What do you mean that items are happy? If you're serious about that, you're really messed up, you know? What? Wilson! What are you doing in someone else's house? What do you mean what? This is beyond rude. You even called Wilson, and who's that man with you? That's my husband, Noah. Why did you bring your husbands into this? It's obvious we can't deal with you alone, Phoebe. Seriously. What are you thinking? We had a discussion and decided to involve Phoebe's husband, Wilson. With Noah's help, Wilson agreed to cooperate. Phoebe, unaware of all this, said. Hmm, so that's how it is. Lisa's husband seems like a rather unimpressive man. Wow, quite a rude friend you've got there. Phoebe, what kind of way is that to talk? Apologize to Noah. Be quiet. I just said what I was thinking. Why should I apologize for speaking my mind? Looking down on people like that and stealing their belongings. What are you doing? Because it's ridiculous for these lowlifes to have nicer things than me, right? So I'm just helping myself instead. Phoebe, you have such a kind husband. Why do you do this? If you want something, why not just buy it? If I can get it for free, why should I spend money? Phoebe, even if they're testers available to try, nobody refills and takes them home like that. Of course not. There are surveillance cameras in stores, and the staff are watching. So it's okay to do it at our homes because we don't have those? If it's not caught, it's totally fine, obviously. So you wouldn't get mad if someone did the same to you? That means you can return all the lotion you took from Lisa, and everything you took from Lisha and Gloria's homes. Why should I? They're mine now. But if it's not caught, it's totally fine, right? It's wrong to take my things. All you do is say whatever suits you. Once something is given, it can't be returned. That's common sense. Phoebe, you talking about common sense doesn't really hold any weight. Realize that you're the one who lacks common sense the most. Phoebe continued to be self-centered without showing any signs of remorse. First of all, Lisa, using such expensive lotion and then claiming your skin is beautiful doesn't really convince anyone, does it? What do you mean by convincing? I mean anyone can have beautiful skin if they use expensive lotions, right? That's not true at all. I have sensitive skin, so regardless of the price, there are only certain products I can use. Huh, that must be tough for you. My skin isn't sensitive to products, but still, finding the right skincare, regardless of the price, takes trial and error. Changing skincare products requires a lot of courage. Your skin is as fussy as your personalities, isn't it? Phoebe, enough is enough. Why are you getting angry, Lisa? You're a woman too, Phoebe. You should understand. The happiness of finally finding the right skincare product or saving up bit by bit to buy something you love, even as a housewife. So what? And saving money bit by bit is something only poor people do. That still doesn't justify stealing. Having things disappear from your own home feels incredibly violating. Do you understand how we felt when we found out it was someone we regularly have tea with? I don't care about your feelings at all. Phoebe, enough is enough. Eek. Why is Wilson angry now? These ladies thought they might be mistaken. They searched their homes and looked for other reasons, giving you the benefit of the doubt. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? It means they weren't 100% sure it was you. Lisa and the others wanted to believe in you until the very end. What? But all three of them lost things under the same circumstances. So they decided to go with this approach, even if it was a bit forceful. Noah and Wilson's words might have conveyed our feelings to some extent, but it seemed too optimistic to think so. Believing each other, how hilarious. What's so funny about that? That's why you don't notice when things go missing right away. 
Phoebe, I'm really starting to get angry now. I'm already furious. We never imagined someone was taking our things. Unless it's something very noticeable, it's understandable that we didn't realize immediately. Well, I don't take noticeable things because I don't want to get caught. Phoebe, I can't believe I'm asking this, but have you done this to other mom friends too? Who knows? That's why some mom friends who seemed close suddenly distanced themselves. That makes sense. Do you do this every time you visit someone's home? The items wanted me to take them, I couldn't help it. If you think like that, you should buy it yourself. Once I like something, it becomes mine, even if it was yours. And my things are mine, too bad. And you take this conversation more seriously. I am listening. When someone gets back the things you took without permission, they'll always remember this incident. Don't you ever consider the feelings of the person you're stealing from? Just think of them as gone and get over it. You think it's that simple? We're supposed to be mom friends, right? Our kids are friends, too. That doesn't justify theft, which is a crime. You're all just too uptight. So you have no intention of compensating or apologizing? I haven't done anything wrong. Fine. Then we'll file a police report about this incident. Phoebe had been laughing off the situation throughout the conversation. However, the moment we mentioned filing a police report. Huh. A police report? Are you kidding me? The only one joking here is you, isn't it? We're having a serious conversation, and you're the only one laughing. But involving the police is too much, isn't it? What you're doing is a genuine crime, you know. Why? I just took a little bit from what you all have. What if you eat a bit of food in a store and leave without paying? What do you think happens then? Oh, is it like that? Why don't you understand? First of all, you shouldn't take others' things without permission. Why not? We're friends, so it shouldn't be a crime, right? It's wrong no matter who the other person is. What a police report. As if they'd take that seriously. Don't you think you're all being too extreme? Stop saying such ridiculous things. We're talking about going to the police. Can't you at least show some remorse? Maybe I'll think about reflecting if something that warrants police involvement happens. Then how about you start reflecting on everything you've done up until now? What? Why all of a sudden? Wait, does Wilson know someone in the police or something? It's not Wilson. Then who? There's someone else here, right? Eh? Could it be someone Lisa knows? Noah is a police officer. What? Her husband is a cop. Everyone, when they say they're filing a report, they're serious about it. This has to be a joke. It's no joke. I'll support them in this as well. Indeed, my husband Noah is a police officer. We rarely talk about our husband's professions, so even among close mom friends, we don't really know what each other's spouses do for a living. Phoebe, who had never imagined a police officer was present, reacted. Wait, hold on, that's a bit much. It's too late now, I've already called my colleagues. I've decided to divorce Phoebe. What? That's a lie, right? No lie. I'll be taking custody of our daughter, Nora. Why does Wilson get to decide such a crucial thing on his own? Because it's beyond the point of discussion. You don't get the gravity of the situation at all, do you? Well, you might understand your situation a bit better after talking with the officers at the station. I hoped you'd understand before it came to this. Okay, okay, I get it. I'll return this lotion, and I'll bring back everything else I've taken too. No worries, you'll be reimbursing us properly. Reimbursement? We can't just put back something you've stolen. It feels wrong. Then how am I supposed to apologize? We're past the stage where an apology can fix things. I don't want the lotion you've refilled weeks ago. It's more of an annoyance now. So I'll apologize. Just spare me the police, please. I'm sorry. You're just apologizing because you don't want to get caught, right? We're not asking for apologies. We're asking for reflection. I'm reflecting. That's why I'm apologizing. People don't just reflect that easily. Ah, I hear the siren. The patrol car seems to be arriving. Yeah, sounds like it. No, please forgive me. I really am sorry. If apologies worked, we wouldn't need the police. It's unbelievable that it had to come to this for you to understand. I truly am reflecting, so please. Show your true remorse through your actions moving forward. As it turned out, 
Phoebe had indeed been stealing various items not just from us but also from other mom friends' homes. After several moms came forward, Phoebe was arrested. As he had informed beforehand, Wilson divorced Phoebe and gained custody of their daughter. Nora continues to play happily with everyone, without having to change kindergartens. Meanwhile, Phoebe faced estrangement from her relatives and, having been a stay-at-home mom, is now left without friends or family, reflecting behind bars and facing the daunting task of job searching and rebuilding her life upon release. Thus, Phoebe ended up leading a miserable life, having lost her happy home and family. In the aftermath. Nora Chan, welcome. Madison Chan. Thanks for having me. I'm really sorry for what my ex-wife did. No need to worry about that, Wilson. It's all good. Exactly. Please don't apologize anymore. Alicia and Gloria aren't here today, but let's all have tea together next time. Thank you so much. Mommy, I want cake. I want some too. All right, let's all have some snacks then. Wilson became a single father and switched to remote work to take care of Nora diligently. He became adept at handling household chores and sometimes exchanged information with us during our tea gatherings. Nora, delighted to play with her dad at home every day, always seemed cheerful and happy. Wilson, Noah, and I, as parents, share the same desire to make our children as happy as possible. Watching our children play joyfully, we reaffirmed our commitment to doing our utmost as parents. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.